Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You. And right before we get in this video, please make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and share my videos. And you can share them, like if you don't want to share them on your platform, share them on the uh, Lipstick Alley. Places that people can click and watch the videos and see the videos. You can click, share it on Facebook, Lipstick Alley. Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You. And today's topic, we're going to talk about Whitney Houston has a rare demo song that will be auctioned in the future. Okay, according to RollingStone.com, a previously unreleased song demo recorded by Whitney Houston when she was 17 years old is a part of an upcoming NFT collection offered by one of. The song will be auctioned off next month as a single one of one iconic item. The date of the auction will be revealed on December the 1st during Miami Art Week at a two-day art music and NFT event called One of Dot World. Now, though, they said the winner bidder will be have access to the never before heard full length song demo of Whitney Houston. And it's it comes with a digital video created by a 17-year-old girl, a 17-year-old artist named Diana Sinclair, which will have um, pictures of rare archival photos of Whitney Houston. Um, also, they said um, it comes with um, gold and platinum offerings of rare archival photos from Whitney Houston's early life and career, designed and animate as animations that give them a digital scrapbook effect. And it's, you know, what? Okay. I have mixed feelings for this. The, yes, I'm excited that, you know, it's a Whitney Houston song that we never heard of before, you know, from her demo. Um, it's coming out. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could bid on it, but why not just release it on YouTube? Why everything about Whitney Houston? Or why not in a, a, a Whitney Houston museum, in my opinion? Why everything have to be auctioned off? Or everything of Whitney Houston has to be auctioned off. Now, some things, okay. You know, if it's going to collect us, if it's not in a museum, yes. But precious things like this, why not just make a Whitney Houston um, unreleased? Um, I would for them to make a Whitney Houston unreleased album. You know, all her unreleased songs or some of her unreleased songs. And make it into an album that's access, you know, for accessible to everybody. But always having an auction that... One person get it. It's just I don't know. I just don't. Not, I never liked that that you know situation or idea. Um, they said proceeds um from the sale of the collection will be benefit the Whitney E Houston Foundation, and I mean that sounds good and all, but all these other auctions and you know Whitney Houston still is making millions to this day, especially her music. You know, where that money goes to after, you know, people download all her albums and things like that. So it should be a percentage, in my opinion, that's already going to the Whitney E. Houston Foundation and also to the Whitney E. Houston Academy. You know, they were, last time, years ago, I remember they were in dire need of um, the proper air conditioning and, and heating in the building because the building is old. The building been there before even Whitney Houston. So they never had major um uh, remodeling for that school and that's in honor of Whitney Houston so that school should be really you know should have been had been re, you know remodeled um, in my opinion so but like I said I'm happy that you know it's a demo coming out you know somebody can bid it on the, the demo but I wish it was released for the public or like I said or for a, a Whitney Houston album you know in my opinion that's how I feel but, you know, hopefully that whoever wins the bid, share it with us honey bunnies, you know, Whitney Houston true fans. And, you know, hopefully they, they upload the song on the internet or whatever the case may be and show us the photos. But anyway, it's your girl Lola Loves You. I'll be back with another video. I love my honey bunnies. Bye!